Hi Sagittarius, this is Jess with your May 11th, 2021 weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Sagittarius, listen, uh, there is a challenge that you guys will be faced with. You really are going to be faced with someone's trying to come back into your life. Okay. Um, one, do everything as ethically sound as you possibly can. Okay. Don't take shortcuts or try to do anything unethical because it's not going to work. Because if you do do, do everything you're supposed to do ethically and sound, there's a blessing waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Something with, or, um, institutions, organizations of some sort is going to be a blessing to you. And I do see that there's going to be a reason for celebration, a, a hooray or congratulations. Um, some of you may be thinking about aligning yourself in something, and this could be anything, you know, just as an example, it could be getting a, a loan for a house, starting a business. Um, you could be attending someone's wedding. I do see that. Or getting married for some of you. Um, someone could be proposing to you. That sort of thing. Like there could be anything that's making something official is what I'm saying. So something institutional, something official, something where it's a contractual agreement. You do know today is the full moon in Taurus, right? And you do know there's going to be a major eclipse in your sign. Yes, Sagittarius sign at five degrees on May 26th. So if you are early sign, uh, I'm sorry, early born Sagittarius, yeah, it's going to affect you guys. So there's that. But this is about, it could have something to do with that, but it definitely speaks to, could be this, this new moon in Taurus today. But you guys are going to embark on something new institutionally that is some type of contractual agreement that will be a major blessing and benefit. Just make sure that you're doing it uh, I think prior to Mercury retrograde, I think we're in shadow now, but you do check out your favorite astrologer to get all the details on that. If you are employed, um, it looks good. I'm sorry, it doesn't. <laughs> you probably have felt very guarded and defensive, like you can't trust people around you. Um, you may be noticing things now, like people being treated differently depending on who they are. You know, little nuances that perhaps you were too busy or the environment wasn't it wasn't the way it is now that you never paid attention. And now things are becoming more and more polarizing than they ever have before. So that's not going to last. I do feel like you guys are going to, you know, change back into your old lucky go happy Sag and I'm busy and I have other things going on to, you know, care so much. Some of you could be that you're going to leave your job and go to some place else. And that too will make you very happy, especially if you've been looking, you can easily transition into something else. For those of you who are unemployed, it's going to take some time for you to get employment, but you may be having, you may have another streams of income, which could be independent income that could be getting you through. Some of you need a car if you're unemployed, and that may be an issue too, that you can't kind of cast your net wider because you you don't have a car. It's, you're very limited in, in getting around. Um, and some of you may need to get your car fixed too. So be careful with that because if you don't have a car, how are you going to get on to interviews and that sort of thing? So there's some bit of a challenge with movement, moving on to a situation. And also you need to step outside of the box. You have Taurus in your sixth house. You've got to start doing things differently to see better results. So if you're doing the same tried or true, going to the same type of you know, companies applying for the same job. It's time for you to do something completely different and see see how your luck change. Those of you who are self-employed, it's chaotic out here in your business. You have a lot going on. <laughs> a lot of people that want your service, you may see an uptick in business that just comes out of the blue, like people here, there, just come up there. I get um, also referrals, that sort of thing, but you're ready for it. I feel like you guys are really strong right now. You're handling it all, even though it may seem very chaotic around you, a lot going on. You can handle it. You're pretty tough and you are very stable, you um, self-employed Sagittarius's. I also see, um, yeah, that's what I see. I was going to say I also see something else, but I don't see it. I it, it, it went away from me. So home life. Um, I see some of you are restless at home, but then you want to move, you want to leave, you want to do it like immediately. And some of you may do that. You may just get up and leave, but do know that you may feel like it's pretty premature. And 
try not to be so hasty to just run out and do something. Try not to, um, because in that haste, you're in a, you know, time cruncher. You're being hasty, but no one else is. And you may get frustrated that people are not working on your time, but you came out of nowhere with this shit. You know, you didn't have your ducks in a row, so you can't now get angry at people because they're not working at your speed. I do see that. Um, that's for some of you. Others of you, things will be coming in quite nicely. Why am I saying that? Because your home lo life looks good to move on to something else. Like things can come up nicely and you'll have the money and that sort of thing. But then when I look at your everyday energy, I see a lot of conflict and confrontation with people. So that's where that comes from. Because some people is like, okay, how do you say this? And then you say that because I'm looking in different areas. Okay. So... I'm leaving the biggest message for last. Sagittarius, whatever you do. Okay. I'm okay, because this is this is for two separate groups of you, two different messages. Men. Sagittarius men. Try your best to not um some of you it seems like no matter what you do. Saturday Singles Men, this week, you're going to be met with confrontation, no matter what you do. I don't care how passive you are. I don't, like, you are going to be met with confrontation. And just when you think, okay, the coast is clear, we dealt with that, okay, fine, you know, they're back again. So it's very competitive. If you have your own business, be careful. You are dealing with sharks. Sharks. Now, I don't know what kind of fish you are, but, you know, you, you seem like a, a, the type of fish that don't want any problems. <laughs> So just be careful 100% because I do see people are, you got haters. That's all I can say. You got haters and I don't know if you've done something bad to people in the past and now it's coming back to haunt you. It could be that type of thing. Um, like you did something before, like it's, it only takes a little bit, Sag men, to piss someone off and they're going to go off. So I just please be careful. I would say be careful. Stay out of the way. Watch your, watch people. Just watch them, you know. Don't, like they say, don't sleep on anyone. Just watch, you watch your surroundings, you know. Um, and some of you may feel like, yeah, it's better for me to move. I, I need to move, you know, because your environment may, may not be the type of place that you need to be in. That will be proven to you probably by the end of this month. I'm here at the end of this year. So for some of you, it'll be the end of this year. Others of you, it's like by the end of this month, you're going to realize it's time for me to get the hell out of here. Now, um, and don't, don't be so easy to trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. This is for all of you, okay? Um, also, women. Okay, so for you women this week and even into next week, listen, you have someone that is doing whatever they can to push your buttons, okay? Um, be careful with lashing out. Um, and because you may get people who is very manipulating, okay? And this is like a crew, <laughs> maybe three people um or you may have to you know get two people put them in their place is what it looks like to me and it's like you don't want any problems with anyone ladies but you know you like something could come out of nowhere and it's like now you have to go and address this and you have to address that and you have to deal with this and you have to do, deal with that and it kind of like i'm telling everyone is kind of necessary to have to do but you don't want to have to do all of that so it's just these kind of like something unexpected even if it's like a court thing or you get a note or a letter or something and it's like it shoots you dead into action you're gonna you're blessed so you're gonna be fine it's just in an in, inopportune time like i don't need this right now it's that type of thing and now you have to go take care of it, all of this and it may even be at a distance so, ugh. and it may be if it has anything to do with another person this person is so problematic the best thing you could do is keep this person out of your energy no matter what there is a male energy i'm getting fire sign energy it could be air sign energy or gemini you getting know. so um a gemini aquarius libra her sagittarius uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But as we know, it could be any sign. I just get fire and air and, and or a Gemini um, who could be very problematic to you ladies. And they're doing this to get a reaction out of you because you don't want to have, you don't want to have something to do with anyone, with some person, but they may make, you know how someone isn't going to stop until you curse them out? Like someone, but that's what they want. So there's that. That's why I keep saying. So I'm going to let that go because I don't want this to go on. Let's get into love. Singles. Um, 
you <laughs> oh yeah right the extended is all about if you have if you're done with your person Sagittarius you're done with them <laughs> I don't give a damn if you're still stalking them or not <laughs> you're done with them <laughs> that extended is for you because they have a message to tell you boy are they, they're talking up a storm in that damn reading <laughs> so you singles you have someone, and this is like an ex to me. This could be a new person, but if it's a new person, run. Don't walk. They have issues, issues, issues. They have too many issues. They are heartbroken. Do you hear me? And for others of you, I feel like this is more of your past. This is your past. Um, where um, your past person, this is, could be a past or a new person. Like I said, if it's a new person, they have too many issues for you to even stick around. Uh, but this is giving me somebody... Mm, I don't want to say that word is too harsh. Somebody has a lot of disdain for you, Sagittarius. I don't know who this is, but they have a lot of disdain, but they can't let you go. Now, what? That's a that's an awful place to be in. That's an awful place to be in. They have so much... Somebody has a lot of resentment toward you, and it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And they would, they would just sit around and think about you and think about what happened and think and think and think and think. And it's not like they're anticipating starting over over again or anything like that. They just are very salty. They are salty. They are, for some people that may be say, well, what is salty? You put a bad taste in their mouth. They're angry. All the things. You know, when you eat a lot of salt, your pressure goes up, you know, and everything is out of whack. Like, yeah, they're very, very, I just get anger. <laughs> That's all I can see. It's anger. So, yeah, stay away. Um... It's going to be difficult. I just keep seeing it being difficult to stay away from pr a problem with a person. That's all I keep saying. So men. Oh boy. Okay. So your person has issues. They have issues. You have a woman here who is money hungry. There's never enough money for this woman. That's number one. This is for singles. Saturday singles men. Okay. You're tired of waiting around for this woman. She has issues. Yes, you know, she's she's had her issues in the past, but you didn't do it to her. She's trying to change, but it seems to be almost impossible to do for her um, because she's just stubborn as hell. She's coming up as a queen of pentacles, which could be a Taurus Capricorn or um, I heard Aries or as we know, Taurus, but it could, it could be any, any sign. She does really well for herself financially, probably better than you, but who cares about that? The, with the rest of your character stinks. Money is not everything. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, cross watches. If, if this is you, you know if you're the problem. I, and I feel like Sag men, you're coming across as a really authentic person. Like you really thought this could work, but no, she has hang ups. So now you're just gonna focus more on work than this person because it's like I can't even do it anymore. Like you know, I can't be the only person giving to this. Is what it looks like to me. And I do feel like if she tries to come back around, you're gonna become re resentful toward her. Um, so I think you would probably be doing yourself good to keep moving forward and focusing on your finances and career because that's going to be good for you. Okay. Ladies. Did I say ladies? I think I, 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 I didn't even go into the real details about ladies. How many minutes we have? Okay. The real details about you single ladies though is um, some of you may become smug because you may get confirmation about what I told you about this person's behavior. So you may become smug about that. But, you know, try to humble yourself um, because, again, you're not out of the woods with this person. So I would just say try to just stay away, you know, from the person. And um, but, you know, some of you may be smug like, oh, I knew I knew you would be back. I knew this is how you felt because they could give you confirmation now of all those things that you were assuming, if that makes sense. And watch your drinking. Watch your drinking. Watch your drinking. Is what it looks like to me. Mm. And yeah, just, I would say, I just want to keep saying stay away. Couples, uh, couples here. <laughs> what happened? All hell is breaking loose between the two of you. And I, you know, like I'm telling everybody, I brought, I took a, I took some time from that full moon in Scorpio. That shit was heavy. And I, I brought out my light deck. I didn't want to bring out the dark, heavy deck because that dark deck, that dark deck was heavy. So I brought out my lighter deck for everybody else. I took some time. What is going on? So it's not the cards. It's you guys. All hell is breaking loose. You guys have, this person put a bad taste in your mouth. You're thinking about leaving. 
Um, some of you just may be taking a trip. Um, and some of you may be trying to do it together. Like, okay, fine. We, we can go out. We can go to way. We can, you know, try. let's try to fix the situation. Your person is not giving up on you. And this, when I tell you this, the extended is about anyone who, any of you Sagittarius's who have moved on from someone or you're about to, that is the reason, that is a reading for you. Okay. That is the reading for you. This some of you, I feel like your person could be doing things to get a reaction out of you or they're going to confront you to try to work things out, okay? The problem is some of you may be thinking that they're, you know, I've heard it all before. I've heard, that's just what came in my head, that song, I've heard it all before. Um, so you may feel like, yep, yeah, heard it all before, I'm not going to, nope, not going, not going to do it again. Not going to do it again. The problem here is, is someone wants to marry the other person. <laughs> I'm like, how is that a problem? But I think the problem is, is that someone is, your person will do whatever it takes to try to make you understand how, what, how they're feeling deep down inside. But for some reason, um, and you guys, I guess you can let me know in the comment section below, if you'd like to share, you're not having it. You do. I mean, when I tell you don't trust this person, <laughs> the car, everywhere I look, Sagittarius is like, no, no, X, no, <laughs> next, no, no. And I do see someone focusing more on their money and finances and finding something else that is more of value to them than possibly this in the future. And don't think that it just is you because it doesn't have to just be you. So we're going to look deeper into this um, relationship, this love extended. Come on down. Let's go check this extended out. You can find all the details down in the description box below. You could also find uh, the... 2021 Sagittarius yearly for the months ahead for this year. Also the link to my website. Otherwise, if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Sagittarius.